interesting day to look back to Saskatchewan because, of course, we know that the Humboldt Broncos Indeed. take to the rink for the first time uh, since the accident happened back in April. The team will hit the ice. It will be an emotional home opener. And this is, of course, just five months after the bus accident that killed 16 players and staff. With more this morning, we are joined by Bill Chow. He's the president of the Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank you. I remember, Bill, thinking ahead to this day when you and I were together in Humboldt back in April. It is an emotional day for the team and, in fact, for the entire community. The Broncos facing off against the Nippewan Hawks, which everyone will remember, is the team that they were uh, driving to play on their way to play on April 6th before the crash. What can we expect from the game tonight? Well, I, I think, you know, I mean, I talked to uh, both coaches actually yesterday. Uh, and uh, they're going to have their teams prepared as best as possible, uh, you know, because it is about the game of hockey uh, tonight for both the teams. Uh, and there are two points on the board. So uh, as far as I know, they're going to be focusing on that as best as they can. Uh, you know, I mean, obviously there's going to be a lot of uh, pregame ceremonies and postgame ceremonies and, and, and another ceremony in between uh, the first and second period. So, you know, there's going to be a lot going on. There's going to be a lot of distractions. And I think the coaches are trying to do their best to uh, make sure everybody stays focused on, on what they have to stay focused on. It's an important day, an important game, because not only is this maybe an opportunity to uh, look back, but also to look ahead for this team to start over. Uh, how are the Broncos going to, first of all, be remembering those who were killed? Well, there's 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 many uh, things that are going to be going on. Uh, you know, the post game ceremony is where most of it's going to be. There's there's going to be a, a ceremonial puck drop as well. So you know, I think they've got a lot of things lined up. Uh, and again, you know, a lot of uh, things that don't normally happen in a hockey game, whether it's the first game of the season or not. But but uh, you know, they're they're trying to go about their business as best as possible. You know, one of the sacred spaces in any arena is the locker room. And I know for some of the coaches, for some of the team members, that was a really difficult place for them to think about and think about going back to. Um, what kind of supports are going to be in place for the players tonight? Well, I think they've got, uh, you know, things in place, uh, you know, when it comes to counselors, uh, people that they can get to uh, if they should need to. Uh, you know, I think uh, they've done a lot of preparation work in trying to prepare for this evening uh, and for this game and, and to uh, make sure that the players are as prepared as best as possible as well as the coaching staff. So I think they have everything in hand uh, from what I understand and, and uh, you know, things hopefully go as smooth as possible. An important night, not just for the team, but for the community as a whole. I remember visiting Humboldt and you really see that the everybody in town has a Broncos jersey, if not two or three. How significant is this game for the town tonight? Well, I think it's significant for everybody, uh, you know, because because after the tragedy of April the 6th, I think a lot of the people, you know, obviously took notice of Humboldt, uh, took notice of the Humboldt Broncos. Uh, it's unfortunate for the reasons that they did, but I think, uh, you know, I mean, everybody's going to have their time when they, you know, maybe contain, turn the page. Uh, for some of them might be this evening and some of them might not be for a while, but uh, those are the individuals that have to get through what they have to get through. And I don't think that, you know, anybody can put a timeline on as to when they're going to be able to turn that page, say. So, you know, everybody's going to have their challenges uh, and, and hopefully everybody has enough support. I believe they do to, to get through uh, not only tonight, but, uh, you know, whatever time it takes. The support of the country is definitely behind Humboldt, not just the players, but the community as well. Thanks for joining us this morning, Bill. You're welcome. Thank you very much. And a reminder, if you'd like to catch that game, it will be broadcast live tonight on TSN at 8.30 Eastern.